Drain your oil and remove your oil filter, then remove the cover bolts. Remove the clutch cable bracket and disconnect the cable. Remove the cover from the engine and watch out for any loose dowels. Disconnect the stator wiring harness. Be sure to take note of wire routing. Be sure to clean any oil from the cover sealing surface, replace the dowels, and use a new gasket. Carefully place the cover back on the engine case. Reattach the clutch cable back to the clutch arm. Reinstall the clutch cable bracket along with all the rest of the cover bolts. Torque the case bolts 10 Nm. Also, be sure to torque your engine oil drain bolt to specification. Last, you'll have to reroute and reconnect your wiring harness. To remove the stator, simply remove the three bolts holding the stator windings in and two bolts holding the exciter coil. Take note of the orientation of the exciter coil bracket for easier reinstallation. Now, carefully remove the grommet from the cover. Removing this snap ring and washer will enable you to remove the crankshaft oil seal. Be sure to pay attention to the seal direction. Install a new seal with a socket or a seal driver. Now replace the washer and snap ring. Make sure the snap ring is located properly in its groove. Reinstall the stator. You may want to put a small amount of sealant on the stator grommet. Be sure to route the wires properly and reinstall the stator screws. Careful not to pinch the wires between the stator and the cover. Tighten and torque to 2.6 Nm. Again, route the wires properly and reinstall the exciter coil and wire bracket. Be sure to install the exciter coil in the direction as shown. Double check to make sure the wires are routed underneath the bracket as shown. Torque the fasteners 5.2 Nm. To remove the flywheel, you'll either need a flywheel holder or you can use a gear jam in one of the two positions shown. Put the transmission into gear and lock the sprocket. Or if you have your clutch cover off, you can lock the clutch basket against the primary drive gear. Carefully and slowly remove the stator nut. Using a flywheel puller with adapter, remove the flywheel. Not using an adapter will damage your crankshaft. Inspect the woodruff key and seating surface for damage. Make sure the seating surface is free from oil and check for any damage. When installing, make sure the woodruff key lines up with the slot in the flywheel. Install the flywheel washer and nut, torqued to 64 newton meters. To remove the cam chain, remove the retainer and slide it out of the engine case.
Check the cam chain for any rough or broken links. There should be no binding between links. Install a good used or new cam chain and reinstall the retainer. Torque the cam chain retainer bolt to 10 newton meters.